continuing with the previous lecture we will see the proof of converse of the theorem and the converse is if the angle subtended by the chords of a circle at the center are equal then the chords are also equal For proving the theorem, let's say a circle is given with the center O and any two chords of the circle are making same angle at the center. Let's say the chords are AB and CD and they are making the same angles at the center that is angle AOB is equals to angle COD. Angle AOB that is the angle subtended by chord AB at the center is equal to angle COD. We have to prove that the length of chords that is AB is equal to CD. Now see the proof of theorem. In this given circle AO is equal to CO because both are radii of circle. Also BO angle AOB is equal to angle COD it is the given situation and the BO is equal to DO again both are radii of circle so in the triangles AOB and COD by the side angle and side AO is equal to CO, BO is equal to DO and the angle are equal by SAS congruency. Both the triangles are congruent. Triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COB and hence by CPCT AB is equal to CD. This was the converse of theorem number 1. Now next theorem, theorem number 2 is that the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord always bisects the chords. Perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord. That means it is given in a circle there is a chord and from the center we draw a perpendicular on this chord. This is a circle with center O and a chord AB is given. And we draw a perpendicular from the center to the chord. It cuts the line at a point M. Then we have to prove 
that this perpendicular OM bisects the core AB. It is given that the OM is perpendicular to AB and we have to prove that M is the midpoint that is AM is equal to MB. For proving this thing, join A with O and also B with O. So two triangles are formed, triangle AMO and triangle BMO. And both are right triangles. In right triangles, AMO and BMO. OA is equal to OB. Both are radius of same circle. So they are equal. OM is common in both the triangles. Angle OMA is equal to angle OMB because both are 90 degree. So by the congruency criteria RHS these two sides are equal because of the radius. This is a common side and both the angles are 90 degree by the right angle hypotenuse and side by RHS congruency triangle A M O is congruent to triangle B M O and hence by CPCT A M equals to M B. This is the proof of theorem that perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle to a core bisect the core. Again the converse of the same theorem is also true that if a line drawn from the center to the core bisects the core it is perpendicular. The statement is the line drawn through the center of a circle to bisect a core is perpendicular to the core. And its proof is also very easy. Let's say a circle with center O is given and a core A B is given. The line OM is bisecting the core AB that is AM equal to AB. Now see again two triangles are formed by joining the end points of the core with the center of circle. These two are the radii of the circle and they are equal. OM is the common arm of both the triangles and AM equals to MB it is given. Hence by SSS congruency both the triangles are congruent. OA is equal to OB. OM is common in both the triangles and AM is equal to MB it is given. by SSS congruency triangle A and O is congruent to triangle B and O by CPCT angle A and O will be equal to angle B and O 
but both the angles are making a linear pair so angle AMO plus angle BMO is 180 degree because of the linear pair and both the angles are equal that is both the angles are 90 degree hence OM is perpendicular to AB this is the proof of converse part of the theorem that is the line drawn through the center of a circle to bisect a core is perpendicular to the core.